Hello, good morning everyone. I am Nasif, an assistant professor from civil engineering department at Vyadavasa Institute of Technology. Today, I would like to discuss about U-Boot Beaten Technology, which is an advanced economical, architectural and fastest method of construction. So, my presentation will be on this order. There will be introduction and I will be discussing on the parts of your beta. Then we will familiarize with the types of your beta and how to install the process and applications and advantages. Then <coughs> we will conclude with the reference. So, uh, what is a U-beaten. It is nothing but it is a recycled polypropylene formwork that can be used to create two-way voided slabs and rafts. It is implemented in Italy for the first time and it is very lighter and it helps for economic designs. U-boot beatens are a simple solution for most of the problems in laying slabs and laying foundations where the capacity of the layer soil is very low which means if the bearing capacity of soil is very low we can go for u-boot beatons it also can be used as a replacement for raft foundations where slabs were used to distribute the loads to the deeper soils first let's familiarize with the parts of u-boot beaten it consists of three parts like spacer joint, then connection bridge, and then closing plate. So, firstly, we will discuss about spacer joint. What is a spacer joint? A spacer joint is used to join two or more U boot beatons while fixing on the shirt ring so that. There cannot be any change in the distance between gaps of U-boat beatons. This spacer joint helps to maintain the rigid connection between the parts. The other two parts are connection bridge and closing plate. Closing plate is used to close the U-boat beaten box which can resist the flow of concrete into the box. Closing plate has a major role in quality of slab. The connection bridge is necessary in order to join two beatons longitudinally wherever the length of the beaton needed to be increased. So these are the three parts of U-boot beaton. U-boot beaton is consists of two different types of beatons. They are single U-boot beaton and double U-boot beaton. The single U-boot beaten is generally used while laying single reinforced slabs whereas we use double U-boot beaten for laying of double reinforced slabs. Single U-boot beaten have only upper U-beaten with foot and spacer and it has a base dimension of 52 cm cross 52 cm. And at the same time double U-boot beaten has both upper and lower part with foot and spacer like two boxes which are closed against each other the word between shattering and u-boot is called a spacer consists of a sharp edge which can be fixed into the lower reinforcement spacer helps u-boot not to move aside when concrete is placed now let's move on to installation process Installation of the U-boot slabs is a very easiest process, but it is needed to be handled with care while placing concrete. If U-boot beatons move to a set when placing concrete, then there may arise cracks after the setting of the concrete. Here, I am gonna discuss a step by step of each process. So, in the first step, we are gonna place a reinforcement above the formwork. The lower reinforcement which acts as compression reinforcement 
needed to be placed as i said on the shutter the u boot beetles should be placed top of the lower reinforcement such that spaces are fixed into the lower reinforcement so that it won't move as i after placing these beetles are fixed to each other by using a spacer joint if there is any need in increase of length of the beetle then two beetles are connected or fixed using connection bridge then upper reinforcement needed to be placed on the u boot beetles which act as a tension reinforcement for the slab as the lower beetles act as compression these upper beetles act as the tension member please note that after placing the upper tensile reinforcement we need to place concrete on the shuttering initially concrete is placed on the shuttering such that the only spaces of u boots are filled with concrete total slab area needed to be placed in this way and when concrete is placed starts to set we need to restart the placing of concrete totally on u boot beetles so the last and final step uh, as every construction work after setting of the concrete we have to remove the foam works which is used for the slab or whatever it is pillar or beam if and we will discuss about the applications of u boot beetle this technology is mainly applied in the construction where we need larger space areas with more center spacing between each columns like parking areas auditoriums malls etc as we have a freedom of placing columns at our will without beams u boot beetles are widely used in raft foundations and these are the following reasons why u boot beetles are used it will increase the bearing capacity of soil it's not about soil it will increase the entire capacity of bearing uh, like uh, the strength to withhold with the foundation and also it saves a lot of concrete compared to normal rough foundation and the economical advantage side it will reduce the cost of slab by lower concrete consumption and steel consumption by technically speaking it helps for a better fire resistance and also it reduces effective mass of a slab and we can reduce number of columns or beams between pillars which helps us to move as according to our wish and also it helps for a, a better resistant against earthquake building last but the least advantage is architectural advantage we can get a larger space for moving around this is the best we can get through this uh, u boot beetle like in the other hand i'm saying uh, that then economic side and the architectures will get a freedom to design according to so uh, i'm i would like to conclude my topic with the following points using this beaten technology i mean u boot beaten technology we can say more concrete and steel up to a percentage of 15% total we can save and it helps for Uh, it helps as an anti seismic building with uh, slimmer foundations and columns and in the other hand it helps for a better aesthetic views and uh, it also helps in case of any fire accident or anything like that and in india it is implemented at aurangabad maharashtra 
in a temple called Shakti Dham, which is having an area of 6340 square feet. And these are the references I used for this topic. And I would like to tell you one thing. Uh, th this technology have a vast uh, opportunities in the future. So whoever want to learn more about this, you can go through these references. Thank you.